Once again, they are driving to Allison Sider, who they just start making your way to the start finish area. First cyclocross race, <laughs> or her first sorry, national championship. So congratulations. Thanks, thanks. It was uh, good fun, and I, I was just joking with the pecan before. All I have to do now is BMX nationals, and I'll have done them all. So, but it's about time I did cyclocross. Yeah. So uh, it looked like in the early part of the race you were having a little bit of uh, trouble with the transitions because you kept getting gapped there a little bit. Was, was it a bit of a problem or? Ah, uh, there was one, uh, definitely the the one big sand run up, and I could tell, definitely being third in line, uh, I was getting gapped a little bit. But then uh, the first two laps they ran up very fast. Then I started to get more comfortable on the run up. But just being third into line into all the barriers and run-ups I was always getting gapped off plus the second run-up I was trying to ride up all the time and in pre-riding I could do it but following two people I couldn't so I was always kind of bobbling there and getting it losing a little bit of time but uh, making it up on all the twisty turny stuff. So tell us talk about the last lap because you came in the start of the last lap still the three of you together. Yeah. Uh, Lynn looked like she was leading for most of the race, Wendy second, you third. So what, what happened in that last lap? Um, the last lap then uh, Wendy tried to attack with probably about two kilometers to go and they had a little bit of a, a battle between the two of them and then uh, uh, we went up the sand run up all together. Um, I had a hard time getting my pedals after the um, first sand run up and they too got a little bit of a gap on me. And uh, from there, you know, Wendy just attacked and I closed the gap on Lynn, we closed the gap on Wendy, and, uh, but not quite, and she just managed to get a, get a few meters and, you know, live and learn. I learned in cyclocross a few meters is like a kilometer. It's really hard to, uh, really hard to close at the end. And I just kind of expected that Lynn was going to close the gap and, uh, um, you know, have a really strong last lap. And then when I saw that Wendy was, definitely going away then it was up to me to try and uh, try and close but you know that's that's what I learned today was that pretty much uh, you know that 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 pace and also with riders this experienced um, you know I wasn't gonna close any gaps on them right now I mean, are we gonna be seeing you at something like cyclocross worlds I think that uh, for me I kind of finished my race season cross-country race season very early this year and got pretty out of shape and was just looking for a reason to get back in shape and we have a good little local cyclocross scene in uh, Victoria with little Wednesday night races, island series and look like a fun thing to do and uh, to try and uh, just set a objective of uh, doing nationals is a good good goal to get back in shape but uh, you know from from that I decided that I'd like to do all the US Grand Prix races which is three weekends coming up in the States and experience the sport of cyclocross a little bit so that'll take me till December and that'll be uh, that'll be enough for the first season okay okay but who knows maybe uh, next year or the year after you might uh, <laughs> Or that's too far to hey, think. how about that? Yeah, development, development years of cyclocross. So <laughs> I don't know. It's a fun sport, and you know the uh, race that I did in uh, in Las Vegas during Interbike. It was one of the funnest races I did all year with the big crowd, small circuit, great atmosphere. So that's how cyclocross is going to keep developing in North America. I think uh, I think I'll put more on my schedule next year. Let's talk a little bit about, I mean, you, you just said that your cross-country season ended a little early. You had some obviously some really good results in, in some of the marathon multi-day races. Um, but you're still in the Olympic pool for next year. So um, what's the uh, what's the plan for next year? Will we start to see more in the World Cup circuit again? Well, definitely the, uh, you know, the for, the for the Rocky Mountain team this year, it was really important for me to... Uh, do a lot of the uh, stage races, the endurance stage races for the team, for the sponsor, for the European distributors. And uh, for me it fit well, you know, it was something, I've been doing this for a long time, it was something a little bit different, but still obviously cycling and still hard cycling. You know, I did it with a mixed team, so I did it always with a, with a male partner. And uh, so I got a lot of racing in this year, maybe not a lot of World Cup racing, cross country racing, but a lot of days of racing. So looking at the way the selection was going, um, really next year, or this past year was not so important for the women for qualification, but next year is. So, um, you know, the, all the options are open. Uh, yeah, I'm still in the pool. Uh, it's just a matter of 
figuring out uh, my schedule for next year, uh, sponsorship situation, team situation, those things are all still things I'm working on and uh, then we'll see how it goes. But, uh, you know, I'm not, not ruling anything out and uh, doing some of the cyclocross this year is uh, also really good for me after doing all that endurance racing to uh, get a little bit, of, little bit of speed back. Okay, well, thanks very much and congratulations on your uh, rookie performance. Hey, thanks very much.